repeat after me. Here we go. Keep this with me. Don't get faster. And say, beat, 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 beat. Beat, 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 beat. Are we together? Say, beat, 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 beat. Beat, beat, beat. Keep that going. Beat, 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 beat. If your birthday is from January to June, keep that going, please. If your birthday is from July to December, stop. Go. And those of you that are stop, repeat after me. Rhythm of the words. Rhythm. Rhythm of the words. Don't be shy. And rhythm of the words. Rhythm of the words. And switch. Beat. Yeah, it's, yeah, so <laughs> let's try that again. So keep your part. Here we go. One, two, and ready, go. Rhythm of the words. I'm talking way too loud. Thank you. And switch. Beat, 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 beat. beat. And switch. Rhythm of the words. Rhythm of the words. Of the words and switch beat and switch rhythm of the words and switch and stop. Okay, so welcome to my class. It's 8:05. Good morning. Um, all right. So two very distinct concepts there. We have a beat and we have rhythm. I would like for you to talk to your neighbor and describe the beat for me. As a kindergartner, go. Talk to your neighbor, describe the beat. That, that specific thing that we just did, yes. Mary Elizabeth, right? And shh, shh, You got this. All right. So, um, by the way, I'll be treating you like your kindergartners, so that's kind of my signal. We practice a whole bunch of different rhythms. You can use that and steal it, because I did. So, um, what did you talk about? Somebody raise their hand and share how they describe the beat. Give me another word for consistent. The same. The same. Okay, so it's the same. So can we describe that as steady? Can we do steady? So this is a steady beat because it is does not what? It does not change. It does not change. It does not change. Okay? Talk to your neighbor about this part. Go. Describe how it's different than the steady beat. It's You're such smart kindergartners, we can probably move on, right? Okay, what you talk about? Um, we just said that it was harder. How? I don't know, because it was like a pattern, it wasn't, it was faster. Okay, and how much faster was it? Do you know? Let's find out! Here we go! January through June, keep the beat, <coughs> two, and ready, go! Here we go, everybody else. Rhythm of the words. Rhythm of the words. And stop, good. How much faster was the? Okay, let's just play it and not say it. Let's try that. One, two, and ready, go. And switch. And stop, how much faster was it? Anybody? Twice as fast. Okay, so we've determined that. Good. We're going to use that here in a second. It's twice as fast. How else would you describe this part? Yes? We said it was kind of easier to follow. <coughs> okay, or syllable. Or syllable. Yeah. yeah, and that's a very important distinction later on in this class. Okay. Every single syllable was sounded. Okay? Um, so this is a rhythm and this is a beat. Are they the same thing? Talk to your neighbor. Are they the same thing?
And what did you talk about? What did you talk about? It can sometimes. It can. Yeah, good. There's, you're a kindergarten now. It's no big deal. Like, you could say, like, poopy pants, and everyone would laugh, and I would say, no, that's not right. So, like, um, so it's different and might have a pattern. What else? Yes? I don't know if you're kindergarten, or it's in respect, like, the beat, it's like the tempo, like, it keeps the song at the Okay, so the, the steady beat is kind of the driving force? Yeah, for exactly. The you, like, go faster or go slower because you have to stay with the beat. Okay, so you're talking about tempo yeah. and steady beat. So tempo controls that steady pulse or steady beat, yeah. which controls the rhythm. Yes. Does that make sense to everyone? So how fast or slow the steady <coughs> beat goes dictates how fast or slow the rhythm goes. Try this with me. Say beat, beat, beat. Come on, and beat, beat, beat. Now, January to uh, June, rhythm of the words. Shoot, and ready, rhythm. Are you making a speed up? And switch, and here's the new beat. Beat, 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 beat. <coughs> rhythm of the words, and go. Rhythm of the words. What happened when we sped up the tempo of the music? The rhythm had to do what? Yeah. Speed up or? Okay, so can a rhythm be a beat? It can be, yes. Can a steady beat be a rhythm? Typically not. And that's a very important distinction to make in this course. Okay? So a lot of times I will have people say, uh, the beat was awesome, or something like that. And you're not really talking about the beat, you're talking about what? The rhythm. Okay? And typically the rhythm follows some kind of pattern, or it has like stops and starts, or spaces in between, and it's not consistent or steady. Because if it was, it would just be a steady beat, and that would be really, really, really boring. Okay? So, will you please stand up? Just watch the video camera back there. I'm oh, the world. Oh, well, yeah. yours. Perfect. And I need for you, do you see all of this space right here? Do you see all this space? Spread out in this space. Use as much space as possible. This is not some you know, other stand here. So instead of saying beat, can you please say walk this time? And I would like for you to walk around the room. So put your bubbles on, please. And double bubbles for kindergartners, because they're really, you know, kind of clumsy. So, um, yeah. And I would like for you to walk around the room to my feet. And every time you put your foot down, I want you to say the word walk. Okay? And I'll demonstrate for you. Try that. Two and a red. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, I do that with my cats. I let them by their feet and like a good G sacrifice. It's really funny. Um, anyways, here we go. Let's try it this way. One, two, and ready. Walk. would be really easy, but for kindergarten, that's super hard. Okay, so if we can kind of make a circle again, just where you are, kind of screwed up. You don't have to go back to where your same spot was. I know that we're creatures of habit, and that happens a lot. Just so, you don't have to sit down. We're not going to sit down here. So, it's okay. Oh, I know. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, go to my school for the arts? Yeah. Cool. I was in GSA in West Virginia. All right. Um, so, we have walk, and then we also need something that's twice as fast as walk, right? Okay, so, um, can you move this way just a little tiny bit? Thank you. It's just that video camera. I want them to be able to see my so. Um, so, uh, will you please say, tiptoe, 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 tiptoe. What happens if I slow down the speed? What's going to happen to the tiptoe? Okay, and what happens if I speed the tiptoe, oh, the beat up, I'm sorry. The tiptoe is going to go what? <coughs> Faster. Okay, good. Good morning. It's now 8.15, so I'm, you're a little bit more awake. This is really hurting my wrist. I'll do it. Another one. Okay, so I would like for you to demonstrate tiptoe, and here's the deal. You actually have to tiptoe. <laughs> Almost like you're sneaky. Because some people say run, name, run, name, which would work too, but for uh, elementary school students, that's probably a really bad idea. Um, learn that the hard way. So, will you please tiptoe to the beat of my drum? One, two, and tiptoe, go. Tiptoe, say and tiptoe. And stop. I see a lot of people doing this, which I understand why you're doing it. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. You're walking to the what? The beat. I would like for you to walk to or tiptoe instead of walk. Okay? So tiptoe looks like this. Tiptoe, tiptoe. So how many times are your feet going down for every beat? Two times. Let's try it. One, two, and ready, go. Tiptoe, tiptoe, Okay, good. So then I would have people come. 
come up and share. Okay, so I would like for you to turn to your partner and come up with a rhythm that consists of tiptoes and walks. Go. <laughs> Good, who has a rhythm they want to share? Give me a thumbs up if you have a rhythm you'd like to share. Give me a thumbs up if you have a rhythm. Oh, good, Gabby, right? What's your rhythm? Come play it on the drum. <coughs> play it on the drum. Yeah, good morning. And say it out loud for everybody. <laughs> Okay, let's try that. One, two, and play it again. Tiptoe walk, tiptoe, tiptoe walk. How many times did she hit that drum? Five. Five times, that's right. So how many beats were in her rhythm? Five. How many notes were in her rhythm? <coughs> More than five, right? Because we have tiptoes. Okay, cool. Talk about it with your neighbor again. Come up with a different rhythm. Thank you, Gabby. Yay. What? This is five beats, right? But she had more than five notes because she had tiptoes in there too. And there's two tiptoes for every walk. Thumbs up if you have a rhythm. Good, come play it for me. Yeah. One, two, and do that go. Okay, good. Can you please play the steady beat and not the rhythm? Oh, Try it again. No, that's fine. I'm glad you did that. Two, and ready, go. How many beats did she have in her rhythm? Five. Okay, can you come up with a three-beat rhythm with your partner, please? Go. What do we got? Come on, play it. Only play the steady beat though, but say the rhythm. Okay. Walk, tip toe, tip toe. One, two, and ready, move. Walk, tip toe, And stop. Good. Let's make a circle, please. You want to sit down, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, what's the difference between a rhythm and a beat? practicing both for 25 minutes almost. Rhythm and a beat. Yes, ma'am. A rhythm, I like to say, fits within science. Okay, so the beat dictates the rhythm. Yeah. Okay, what else? Yes. Um, a rhythm tends to be a little faster. It can be, but it can also be that steady beat. But if it was, it would be really boring. So a rhythm can be sounds and silences within the context of what? A steady beat or a pulse. Okay? Good. I would like for you to please repeat after me. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. Oh, okay. can we make this circle just a little bit? Just leave a little bit of room right there. And you can come over here. I promise I don't smell bad this morning yet. Um, so I get really super sweaty when I teach and my hair gets really tall because I'm like I'm really excited and I drink too much coffee. Here we go. Let's Play a game. Let's play a game. Clap and say your name. Clap and say your name. Let's play a game. Clap and say your name. Let's play a game. Clap and say your name. Everyone will copy you. Everyone will copy you. And sound just the same. And sound just the same. Okay, good. I'm saying it a lot differently than you're repeating it. Okay? I'm saying, let's play a game. And here's what I'm getting. <laughs> what is he doing? Yeah, okay. So, good morning. Uh, this is what you'll be doing the rest of the semester. And let's play a game. Clap and say your name. Let's play a game. Clap and say your name. Everyone will copy you and sound just the same. Everyone will copy you and sound just the same. Listen to me again. Everyone will copy you and sound just the same. Everyone will copy you and sound just the same. Good. Okay, so we're padding what? The beat. 
We're cutting the what? The beat. The beat or the steady beat. Hint. Um, the steady beat. <laughs> so I would like for you to please do this with me. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. My turn. Clap and say your name. Clap and say your name. Everyone will copy you. Everyone will copy you. And sound just the same. And sound just the same. One of those parts, there's four parts for this, right? This poem. There's four parts for this poem. Which one was different? Is it? Let's do it again. Watch me do it. Just do it with me. One, two, and ready. Let's say our name. Clap and say your name. Everyone will copy you and sound. Which one's different? Hold up the number. I see a lot of threes. Why would you say three? Why would you say three? Uh -huh. Because everyone will copy you. Okay. So let's compare the first, second, and fourth part. Let's play a game. Repeat. Let's play a game. Good. Now play it and don't say it. Two and ready. It's okay if you have to whisper to yourself. It's no big deal. I promise. It's okay. Here's the next one. Clap and say your name. Here's the fourth one. So the first, second, and fourth part are what? Almost 100% the same. The second part has a little teeny tiny different variation to it. We're just going to call it the same. So the first part, second part, and fourth part are all the same. The third part is what? Longer. It's not longer. It has more notes in it, which I think is what you mean. Yeah. So it has a lot of what in it? A lot of what? Tiptoes. Tiptoes, yeah. So if we wanted to do this poem and walk some tiptoes, what would it be? Turn to your neighbor and figure that out. The whole poem and walk some tiptoes. Let's play a game. Clap and say your name. Try that. Go. <laughs> to walk again. Is that one the same or different than the first one? It's a little bit, tiny bit different. Let's play a game as walk, tip to walk. Clap and say your name is clap and say your name, which is what? Tip to, tip to walk. The fourth part is what? Sound just the same as walk, tip to walk. So the third part is all what? All tiptoes. Everyone will copy you and sound just the same. Can we try to move that poem, please? Here we go. One, Two, and ready, go. Let's play a game. Clap and say your name. Everyone will copy you and sound just the same. In walks and tiptoes this time. One, two, and ready, go. Walk, tiptoe, walk. Tiptoe, tiptoe, walk. Tiptoe, 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 tip walk. Tiptoe, walk. Remember how I said, and sound just the same. That sound is what? A walk. Yeah, let's try that again. One, two, and ready, go. A walk. Tiptoe, walk. Tiptoe, tiptoe, walk. Tiptoe, 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 walk. Tiptoe, walk. And now move the poem while you say it. One, two, and ready, go. Let's play a game. Come and say your name, everyone. Everyone will copy you. And sound just the same. All right, thumbs up if you've got it. Thumbs sideways if you're like, no, maybe, and thumbs down if it's just like completely no. Let's try it one more time for these people. These people, awesome. Here we go, one, two, and ready, go. One, play a game, thank you. Clap and say your name, everyone. 
Everyone will copy you and sound just the same. Again, let's play a game. Clap and say your name. Everyone will copy you and sound just the same. Make a circle, please. And you don't have to go back to where you were. It's every field. Wear comfortable clothes whenever you come to my room, because you will be doing a lot of this. Okay, so if I had to do this and play the steady beat on the drum, will you please say the poem? One, two, and ready, go. Let's play a game. Clap and say your name. Everyone will copy you and sound just the same. Okay. Did you notice I was holding up the numbers of each part? Did you see that? Yeah. Okay. Look at the way I play it. Say it in your head. One, two, say it, go. How many beats for each part? Four. Four beats, that's right. So say the poem again and listen to the last beat in the first, second, and fourth part. One, two, and say it, go. there at the end of the first, second, and fourth part. Okay, so I have a steady beat, and what are you all doing? I have a beat, and you all are not saying a word. Yeah. Right? So that is a moment of what in the rhythm? Rest. Moment of rest or silence. And in music, we call that rest, okay, when we don't make any noise. So a lot of times, rhythms have silences in them, because if they didn't, it would be really boring. And it would sound just like this all the time, and it would complete and sound all the, all the time, and it sounds awful. So that's why we like to have a moment of silence to make things more interesting. Okay, cool. So we've gone over walk, tiptoe, and rest, correct? Those are the three things that we did today. Can, instead of saying walk, can you say ta? Uh. And instead of saying tiptoe, can you say tee tee? Tee tee. And instead of saying rest, can you say shh? Shh. Okay. So if I were to say the first part of the poem in ta's and t's, and shh, it would sound like this. Ta, ti, ti, ta, shh. Figure out the second part for me with your neighbor. What do we got, Sarah? Okay, so she figured out that the second part was ti, 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 ta, shh. We're in first grade now, by the way. Maybe late kindergarten, first grade, okay? So it goes like this. Ta, ti, ti, ta, shh. T T T T ta sh T T T T T T T T ta T T ta sh Cool. All right. And we'll learn how to notate that next week, and we'll review this a million times. You will have it by the end of next week. So let's continue on today. And I would like to see you do this. Let's play a game. Watch again, please. Watch again. Let's play a game. So I have clap, pat, stamp, and I can also have snap later on. And if you can't snap, just pretend. That's what I tell my um, elementary school students. So guys, let's play a game. Clap and say your name. You already know this part. Everyone will copy you. And sound just the same. Here's the whole poem. Let's play a game. Clap and say your name, everyone will copy you, and sound just the same. Think we can try that together? Let's try it. We'll do it again and again, and you'll get it, you'll be fine. One, two, and ready. Yeah, so I always prep on that stamp. I don't say stop because then you get like sumo wrestler kindergartners that like want to do this, um, which is awful. So um, I say stamp instead of stop. A lot of people say stop. Just say stamp, it's easier. So watch me one more time, please. Let's play a game. Clap and say your name. And do you see how I'm prepping this stamp? So I'm prepping that to do it on the beat. On the beat. So I see a lot of this. Let's play a game. Oh crap. Okay, so, um, which is not right. Okay, so one, 
two, let's try it, go, let's play our game. And say your name. Cool, so you already know the rules of the game. What are the rules? Uh, well, we're going to do something a little bit different than clap, but because we're already clapping. So, but you're going to do what? Name. You're going to say your name, and everyone else will do what? Copy, Copy you, and they're going to do what? Sound, Sound just the same. Right, okay. So, I'm going to start, and you'll see what happens, and then we're going to go directly back into the poem, and then we're going to go over here. We're going to go directly back into the poem, and then we're going to go over here. And all the way around the room, hopefully... This doesn't take like 20 minutes, so I'm going to speed it up just a little teeny tiny bit. You'll catch on by the time we get right back over here. Okay, so watch me. One, two, and ready, go. Let's say your name. You can say it with me. Everyone. 